Hi, uh, we have a John and Gold apple tree and we also have codling moths and apple maggots in the area so we wrap the apples and we've tried a lot of different methods, um, footies, plastic bags, paper bags and this time we are trying some netting but um, it's a pretty big tree so we wrapped one branch in that. I'm going to see if I can show you through the, the branch over there that's got netting on it but this tree goes on for a while. Let's see if I can give you a big picture of it. I'm sure I can get it all in there. It's about 17, 18 feet wide and maybe 12 feet high. Um, but I'm, so the, bat, the apples that we weren't able to get into a branch, one branch with the netting, and the netting, this netting was 34 feet by 17 feet. And you have to tuck it in under at the bottom which you can't see, but um, anyway, so all the other apples I've decided to bag with my paper bag method, and I'm going to show you how I do that using bags, little sandwich bags, and a mini stapler. There. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this apple here with this bag and using this little stapler. So, I slip this over, I fold that corner up, and that corner up, and then I feel for the stem. I can feel the stem right here. I do not want to staple the stem. I take my little stapler and I staple that, and if it doesn't feel secure, I can flatten the bag over here and come from this side, and again, feel for the stem so you don't staple it. There you go.